Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to this video series on cryptocurrency. Colored coins. The first blockchain application we will discuss is colored coins. Colored coins refer to a set of similar technologies that use Bitcoin transactions to record the creation, ownership and transfer of intrinsic assets other than Bitcoin. By extrinsic, we mean assets that are not stored directly on the Bitcoin blockchain as opposed to Bitcoin itself, which is an asset intrinsic to the blockchain. Colored coins are used to track digital assets as well as physical assets held by third parties and traded through colored coins certificates of ownerships of ownerships are digital asset colored coins can represent intangible assets such as a stock certificate license a virtual property games items or most any other form of licensed intellectual property trademarks copyrights etc tangible asset colored coins can represent certificates of ownership of commodities gold silver oil land title automobiles boats aircraft etc the term derives from the idea of coloring or marking a nominal nominal amount of bitcoin for example a single satoshi to represent something other than the bitcoin value itself as an analogy Consider stamping a $1 note with a message saying this is a stock certificate of Acme or this note can be redeemed for one ounce of silver and then trading the $1 note as a certificate of ownership of this other asset. The first implementation of colored coins means enhanced paddle order based coloring or EB sorry or EPOBC assigned it extrinsic assets to a one satoshi output in this way it was true it was a true colored coin each asset was added as an attribute color to a single satoshi more recent implementations of colored coins use the op return script op code to store metadata in a transaction in conjunction with external data sources that associate the metadata to specific assets. The two most prominent implementations of colored coins today are open assets and colored coins by color. These two systems use different approaches to colored coins and are not compatible. Colored coins created in one system cannot be seen or used in the other system using colored coins. Colored coins are created, transferred and generally viewed in special wallets that can interpret the colored coins protocol meta data attached to Bitcoin transactions. Special care must be taken to avoid using a colored coin related key in a regular Bitcoin wallet as the regular wallet may destroy the metadata. Similarly, colored coins should not be sent to addresses managed by regular wallets, but only to addresses that are managed by wallets that are colored coin aware. Both color and open asset systems use special um, colored coin addresses to mitigate this risk and ensure that colored coins are not sent to unaware wallets. Colored coins are not visible to most general purpose blockchain explorers. Instead, you must use a colored coin explorer to interpret the metadata of a colored coins transaction. An open assets compatible wallet application and blockchain explorer can be found at Coin Prism. A colored coin compatible wallet application and blockchain explorer can be found at blockchain explorer a copy wallet plugin can be found at color coins copy add-on um, issuing colored coins each of the colored coins implementations has a different way of creating colored coins but they all provide similar functionality the process of 
sorry, the process of creating a coloured coin asset is called issuance. And in the, an initial transaction, the issuance transaction registers the asset on the Bitcoin blockchain and creates an asset ID that is used to reference the asset. Once issued, assets can be transferred between addresses using transfer transactions. Assets issued as colored coins can have multiple properties. They can be divisible or indivisible, meaning that the amount of asset in a transfer can be an integer, e.g. 5, or have a decimal subvision, e.g. 4.321. Can also have fixed issuance meaning a certain amount are issued only once or can be reissued meaning that new units of the asset can be issued by the original insurer after the initial issuance finally some colored coins enable individual enable dividends allowing the distribution of Bitcoin payments of the owners of a colored coin asset in proportion to their ownership Colored coin transactions. The metadata that gives meaning to a colored coin transaction is usually stored in one of the outputs using the OP return OP code. Different colored coins protocols use different encodings for the content of the OP return data. The output containing the OP return is called the market sorry it's called the marker output the order of the outputs and position of the marker output may have special meaning in the colored coins protocol in open assets for example any outputs before the marker output represent asset issuance any outputs after the marker represent asset transfer the markers sorry the marker output assigns specific values and colors to the other outputs by referencing their order in the transaction in colored coins color by comparison the marker output encodes an op code that determines how the metadata is interpreted op codes 0x01 through 0x0f indicate an issuance transaction an issuance op code is usually followed by an asset id or other identifier that can be used to retrieve the asset information from an external source BitTorrent op codes 0x10 through 0x1f represent a transfer transaction transfer transaction metadata contains simple scripts that transfer specific amounts of assets from inputs to outputs by reference to their index. Ordering of inputs and outputs is therefore important to in the interpretation of the script. If the metadata is too long to fit in OP return, the colored coins um, protocol may use other tricks to store metadata in a transaction. Um, examples include putting metadata in a redeem script followed by OP drop OP codes to ensure the script ignores the metadata. Another mechanism is a one of n multisig script where only the first public key is a real public key that can spend the output and subsequent keys are replaced by encoded metadata. In order to correctly interpret the metadata in a colored coins transaction, you must use a compatible wallet or block explorer. Otherwise, the transaction looks like a normal Bitcoin transaction with an OP return output. As an example, I created an ish and issued a master BTC asset um, using colored coins. The master BTC asset represents a voucher for a free copy of this book. These vouchers can be transferred, traded and redeemed using a color coins compar compatible wallet. For this 
particular example, I use the wallet and the explorer at https forward slash forward slash coinprism.info, which uses the open assets colored coins protocol. Um, figure 12 1 shows the issuance transaction using the coin prism block explorer as you can see coin prism shows the issuance of 20 units of free copy of mastering bitcoin the master btc asset to a special colored coin address akt nsdt 5 uzpiorst 76 P F or Q M eight Q eight S B F N Q I W C X. The transaction ID of the issuance transaction is a normal Bitcoin transaction ID. Figure twelve two shows that same transaction in a block explorer that doesn't decode coloured coins. Will use blockchain dot info as you can see. Blockchain.info doesn't recognize this as a colored transaction. In fact, it marks the second output with unable to decode the output in red letters. If you select show scripts and Coinbase on that screen, you can see more detail about the transaction figure 12.3. Once again, Blockchain.info doesn't understand the second outputs. It marks it with, a, with strange in red letters, however, we can use the sum of the metadata in the marker output is human readable. Well, you can see here um, the prefix of sorry the prefix four f four one represents the letters O A, which stands for open assets, and helps us to identify what follows in metadata defined by open assets protocol. The ASCII encoded string that follows is a link to an open asset definition UHTTPS CPR.SMFOYKWRH6UY. Um, if we retrieve this URL, we get a JSON encoded asset definition as shown here. Um, so I'm going to be here today for this video. If you like listening, please consider like, sharing and subscribing. Thank you.